Hey everybody, this is Damien from Studio Pro Musica. Today's video is on the elements of a song. Where do songs come from? So maybe you're a lyricist and maybe you play a little guitar, play a little piano, whatever, and you're looking to set some of your lyrics to music. Or maybe you're a singer or an instrumentalist in a cover band and you're looking to branch out, do some original material. Where do you get started? And I'm going to suggest to you that before you start to think about, oh, you got to write a catchy hook, oh, you've got to have a memorable chorus, oh, you've got to have a solid beat, before you get to any of that, I'm going to suggest to you that you break down your thinking and recognize that every song, and I think you can say it really is every song, has one or more of three possible elements. Now, those elements are a riff, we'll talk about what a riff is in a moment, a riff, a chord sequence or a chord progression sometimes it's called, or a melody. And each song is built around one or more of those things. So right off the bat I don't want anybody thinking that a song is only a riff or only a chord sequence or only a melody. Very often those will be combined. You can have a, a, the verse is a chord sequence and the chorus is a melody. But if you start to think in terms of I'm working with a melody, I'm creating a riff, I'm putting together a chord sequence, it can actually really not only streamline the process but make it a lot more understandable. It can demystify it. Okay? I'm going to start with the idea of a riff. What is a riff? Riff is actually putting together the two words rhythmic figure. So a riff is a rhythmic figure and it's almost always a rhythmic figure that's repeated many times and becomes very recognizable. So if I play on guitar, if I go pretty much anybody that listens to Led Zeppelin is going to say, oh yeah, that's the heartbreaker riff. That's the heartbreaker rhythmic figure. It doesn't even matter which key I play it in. If I play it in a different key, still going to sound like heartbreaker. That's the idea of a riff. If I, if I go, a lot of people are going to say, oh yeah, that's Satisfaction by the Rolling Stones. Again, it doesn't even really matter if I'm playing it in the right key. You hear, that, you hear those notes and you say, hmm, Satisfaction. That's the idea behind a riff. You know, Black Sabbath made an entire career out of putting riffs together. Okay? And riffs aren't just for hard rock or heavy metal. The fact of the matter is, if you're working with loops in the modern era, very often those are riffs, a repeated rhythmic figure. The second element would be a chord sequence. You just think of, okay, I'm going to put a series of chords together. There's no magic number. It could be three chords. It could be five chords, whatever. If I put a series of chords together and they sound cool in that sequence, yeah, you're working with a chord sequence, a chord progression. The easiest example I can think of right now, if I go, and again, it doesn't really matter what key I do it in, but if I go A minor, C, D, F, A minor, C, E, I think most people are going to start to say, yeah, that's House of the Rising Sun. I can play it sort of uh, playing the notes of the chord individually. going to say House of the Rising Sun, but I can strum it, not playing the notes of the chord individually, but I can strum it, you know, kind of with some energy. Whatever. Still sounds like House of the Rising Sun. You strum A minor C, D, F, A minor C, E, or E7. It's going to sound like House of the Rising Sun. Doesn't matter if I'm picking the notes of the chord individually, if I'm strumming, whatever. I could go over to an organ or a piano and just go A minor, C, D, F, and so forth. It's going to sound like House of the Rising Sun. It's a very identifiable chord sequence or chord progression. And then finally, there's a melody. 
and a melody is something in a sense that can exist independently of a given rhythm. It doesn't necessarily depend on a chord sequence or a riff to give it life. It exists on its own. A piece of advice I heard many years ago while earning my music degree at the University of Massachusetts was, you know what, if it can sound good with a flute playing it, it's probably a good melody. And so if I go to my guitar and I go, Most people would say, oh yeah, that's Amazing Grace, a very, very identifiable melody. It's something you can sing and it's something that you remember. It doesn't really matter too much what chords I put to the Amazing Grace melody. It doesn't really matter if there's um, a certain rhythm underneath it. Everybody kind of recognizes the melody. And that's really it for what are the elements of a song. You've got a riff maybe, you've got a chord sequence maybe, you've got a melody. And so if you're trying to put this information into practice and you're wanting to start writing songs, if you play a chord based instrument, like you play some guitar, you play some piano, whatever, just start throwing some chords together. If you don't know which chords will work with which other chords, I have a video coming out for that too, but you know what, just experiment. Play a G, play an E, uh, play an A, mm, play a D. Notice I couldn't even really think, oh, am I going to stop at three chords? Am I going to add a fourth chord? There's no real formula to it. So what did I just say? G, E, A, D. Okay, I'm just going to go, uh, let's see. G, E, A, D. Hmm, that sounds okay. And maybe when I start strumming it, Maybe I like it, maybe I don't, and if I don't, well, I try some other chords. Maybe I don't like the E chord, maybe I, uh, I would rather go to a C chord, G, C, A, D. Yeah, maybe that works a little better, or maybe it doesn't. But that's how you put together a chord sequence. How do you put together a riff? Really, you just have to noodle around. How to construct riffs is a subject for another video. Very often, they'll be based out of scales. The Heartbreaker riff, for example, is based out of a pentatonic blues scale. But you can noodle around with, let's say, individual notes to get started, individual bass notes. Go to a piano, play the lower end of the piano, or pick up a bass guitar maybe, and just start putting different notes together. See if there's a certain rhythm to it. If you have access to a drum machine, order some drum loops. Put on some drum loops and try to put those notes in a certain rhythm to the drum loops. How do you put together a melody? We like to think that melodies are inspired from heaven and they, oh, it just hit me. Well, practically speaking, melodies come from scales in almost all cases. And so you start humming to yourself. And if you're able to hum maybe a major scale, maybe that'll work for you. But if not, just start thinking of some notes. No accompaniment, no drum loop, no guitar. Just start humming to yourself. You don't need to come up with lyrics right off the bat. Just start humming to yourself and say, huh, does that sound like something that maybe that would sound good on a flute? Does that sound like something that maybe people can repeat? And they'll walk away humming it maybe. Does that sound like something that later on I can put chords to? A process called harmonizing a melody. There's some practical advice right there. Again, just think in terms of Maybe I can create a chord sequence or a chord progression. Maybe I can create a riff. Maybe I can uh, come up with a nice melody. All songs are focused around one or more riff, chord progression, melody. If you keep this in mind, the songwriting process becomes much less of a mystery. Okay? If you have specific questions, please leave them in the comments. I will do my very best to answer every question, okay? If you haven't already subscribed, well, 
please do so. Please hit the subscribe button, okay? I don't want you to miss out on anything, and I'd love to get to know you better as well. You want to shoot me a message through the YouTube channel? I'd love to hear from you. Whatever the case, thanks for watching, and again, I'll see you here on Studio Pro Musica on YouTube.